optimizing your WordPress site for speed and security is a really important thing to do. Once you have your site built, here's a quick video on how to put Cloudflare in front of your WordPress site to give you some instant speed and security. Hi, I'm Duncan from 65. I've been working in WordPress for probably, well, I don't know, how many years? Many, many years now. And uh, we build, host, and care for many of our clients' WordPress websites. One of the big things you can do is put Cloudflare in front of your website to give it that extra little kick, um, improve the security of your site, and reduce your reliance on um, plugins and other things to help protect your website. And I'm going to show you how to do it. This is a beginner level video, so I'm literally going to uh, walk you through the process of doing this. You will need to have your domain connected in Cloudflare. And if you don't know how domains work, go watch the other video about that. And I'm going to show you um, how, what the difference is between your domain registrar, your DNS host, and how that all connects together to make it work. And in that video, we'll actually use Cloudflare um, and connect it up as well. So you'll need to have your domain in Cloudflare. I'm going to show you um, very quickly what that looks like once you've got it connected. So what does Cloudflare actually do? Cloudflare is probably one of the systems that is really the backbone of the internet. We all know about Google, we all know about Amazon and Microsoft and uh, those kind of monopolies, they're very uh, kind of sort of front facing. Um, Cloudflare is probably one of the largest services that helps the internet actually maintain its integrity and actually work on a daily basis. And unless you're in the industry and you're doing technical stuff, you wouldn't really know even that it exists. So welcome to Cloudflare. It is um, sensational. And for a small business, um, it's really important that you find things that do lots of cool things for you for as little money as possible. And you can use Cloudflare for free with your WordPress website. So let's get into it and I'll show you how this works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come along to the Cloudflare platform and I'm gonna log in. And I'm going to have two tabs open here. You're going to see this one is Cloudflare, and I'm going to have another um, uh, tab open, which is my WordPress website as well. Okay, so the first thing is I've added my domains to Cloudflare, and you do that simply by clicking Add Site. Uh, you follow the bouncing ball. Um, the first thing that will happen as you go through this is that it will then ask you what your plan is. If you scroll to the bottom, it will be free. And then what you do is you uh, log into your domain registrar and you point your domains uh, to the DNS, uh, the, sorry, to the name servers that Cloudflare give you. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like in here. Once you're all configured, if you go to the DNS tab, uh, it tells you down the bottom here, these are the um, values that you need to have in place. Once that's done, uh, Cloudflare will say to you, yep, everything's connected. Uh, we've got everything in the right place and you'll start to see some statistics like this, which is you know how many people are visiting your site and so forth. Now, Cloudflare is uh, what they call a proxy. And what that means is that when you have the visitor and the website, Cloudflare actually sits in between the two. And every time the visitor requests your website, they're actually making a request to Cloudflare. Cloudflare then gathers what they need from your web server for you and serves it to the client. Okay, So it's a proxy that sits in the middle and you can turn it off so that the user goes direct to the website. But by having it on, it acts as a guardian, it acts as a speed um, optimizer and so forth as well, like a cache for your website too. And what we're going to do is put uh, that uh, plugin into WordPress in order to make the management of that process really, really easy. So this is the first thing I do. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my uh, WordPress dashboard and I'm going to click on Add Plugin. And we're going to just search for Cloudflare. If you can't, for some reason, um, uh, install uh, the plugin directly on your dashboard, uh, then you can go to the WordPress directory. And I'm going to click on Install Now. And of course, I need to activate that plugin as well. And now over on the uh, left-hand side, I can go into settings and go to Cloudflare. So I will go to settings over here, click on that. And what you'll see is we'll get uh, under settings now one called Cloudflare. So we'll go to Cloudflare. 
and it's going to prompt me for some information. So I need to uh, either create an account. I've already got one because I've already put my uh, domains in there. I'm going to click the little sign in here button. So the first thing I'm going to type in here is my Cloudflare email address. And then I'm going to get a API token. So this is probably the most complex bit of this, but I'm going to show you how to do that now. So coming over to uh, Cloudflare, I'm going to click on the top right and I'm going to go to my profile. I'm going to look for API tokens on the left hand side. And then I'm going to click this blue create token button up the top. It's going to give me a list of templates. We're going to use a template much easier than trying to understand um, the inner workings of everything that's going on here. And you'll see there's a template called WordPress. WordPress. So I'm just going to click on use template. And as you can see, it's giving uh, whatever I give this API key, which is essentially a password for computers, whatever I give it to, uh, we'll be able to use that API key to make some changes in the Cloudflare account for me. And as you can see, most of those are actually read, but it will allow it to make some um, zone setting changes and it will be able to purge the cache uh, or the cache, depending on where you're from, uh, and accordingly. Now, I'm also going to put in Uh, my uh, domain in there to link it to the site that I'm actually going to work for. The reason for that is if you have multiple, it's much easier so that you know which website this one works on. You can label them whatever you want to label them. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to restrict this account so that it only works on a specific zone. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, in the drop down here, I'm going to select my destination genderbind.com.au account. Okay, and that means that if this token for some reason gets stolen, uh, is accessible elsewhere, it means that the only place they can actually use it is on the destination gendervine.com.au website. So only, it can only be used from my website. So we're just trying to limit our exposure in, in a security sense there. You can also put a date on it. You can also look, uh, lock it down specifically to your website IP address as well. If you know how to do that and find that, you can do that too. So I'm going to continue to summary and it's going to say to me, here's what we can do. It can read all the settings and it can make some changes for us. I'm going to click on create token and this token is going to be displayed here for me. We're going to have this blurred out in the video because uh, it's obviously sensitive, um, but I'm going to destroy it after this video anyway. So even if you figure that out, it won't work. So I'll click on copy that and I simply come over and I paste it into this field here and click save API credentials. So what the system does now is it says from the website, can I talk to Cloudflare? Is all that permissioning in place and, and good? Yep, it is because we can now see these settings. And the next step I'm going to do is just simply click apply here. I want to apply the recommended Cloudflare settings for WordPress websites. So it's going to sit there and do a bunch of stuff in the background for me. And we're going to go and have a look at the settings to see what's been done. As you can see in the bottom left here, default settings have been successfully set. Uh, you don't need to do anything else in here. Uh, you can click on help if you want. It will tell you what those settings are. So let's go have a look. So this one click settings, it changes our security level or caching level. It auto minifies some stuff for us. Um, it's doing some bits and pieces which help us uh, better serve our user when they come to look at our website. Now there are a couple of things in here that I recommend that we, uh, we turn off. Um, and the reason for that is, well, let's go and have a look at them. So I'm going to go back into my website, open this up, and I'm going to go down the settings here on the left. You can click through all of these and have a look at everything that's in there if you wish. The two that I recommend you turn off are these two, the Scrape Shield, this one. The reason for that is that it actually adds a bit of JavaScript to every page on your site. Um, and adds to the page load and the page weight. It can often play havoc with your load scores and your load times, and your server side excludes as well. Um, much easier, and as you can see, it's actually gonna be deprecated because it's not valid really anymore in the web WordPress space. Um, so just change those two. Everything else is gonna work just fine. Now, what this does is it will sit there and it will serve a page from Cloudflare. You remember, as I said, it's a proxy. So as a user, Cloudflare is a proxy and then WordPress is at the other end. One of the things it will do is it will say, well, if I've got a copy of that page and it hasn't changed on the server, I'm just going to give the user that page. 
from the closest location I can. So let's say, for example, that your website is physically located in the UK, but you have a visitor over in the US that's looking at your website. What Cloudflare will do is serve a page from their data center that's as close to the, the user as possible in the US. And that cuts down uh, the speed, uh, the amount of time that it takes for that user to get a page. So it does that for you automatically. You don't have to think about anything else. All of those settings, everything we've just done gives you that little bit of uh, speed. And again, because they're sat in the middle, they can actually watch your website and see where there are, if, if there are any security issues as well. Um, and you can look at that information in here underneath WAF, and you can see that uh, Cloudflare has automatically been um, providing challenges to people that are coming to the site from suspicious locations, from the Tor browser, for example, from China. Again, you can look at the documentation and kind of go into the detail about how this works. You can also tweak all of this stuff to make it better for you and your audience. But fundamentally, in this beginner level video, that's all you need to know. You're going to get some good things that come out of using Cloudflare. Like I said, it's free as well. Now, the one operational thing you'll need to know is that if you do go and change a page on your website, but you don't see the update of that page once you've logged out of WordPress admin, it might be that it's cached in WordPress. And the way you fix that is to log back in to your WordPress admin and click this button down the button, bottom. This is the one that says purge cache. And what that does is, is in the proxy process, one, two, three, it resets the cache that Cloudflare has and it says to Cloudflare, go get a new copy of that page from my web server. Don't just serve the one that you've got blindly without going and checking first. So very often that will fix any issue you have where, for example, you know, your mum goes to look at your website and says, oh, it doesn't say what you say it, said it says, right? For many reasons, mum could be having some other issues, but that could well be one of them as well. So remember, Purge Cache is your friend. Now, if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe below. And we're going to talk a lot more about WordPress security and other things in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.